Cleaning and disinfecting a CO2 incubator is a job that no one really enjoys, but it's important to maintain the best growth conditions for your cells. Follow these best practices to ensure your lab's incubators remain free of contamination that could jeopardize your work. First, plan to clean and disinfect your incubator at least once every two to four weeks, depending on the traffic in and out of each incubator. This may seem like a lot, but incubators are exposed to airborne microorganisms regularly. Every time the incubator door is opened, contaminants can enter. That 30 minutes or so that you spend cleaning the incubator saves time in the long run because it will help to limit your risk of losing cultures to contamination. While your incubator's manual will have specific instructions on your model, consider a few tips for the most effective cleaning. Use a mild dish soap in distilled water. Make sure to get into all the corners and crevices and rinse away the soap using clear distilled water. Consider your disinfectant carefully. Many cleaners give off volatile fumes that can inhibit cell growth or even kill cells. Chlorine bleach and its derivatives can corrode stainless steel. General advice is that if it smells strong or bad to you, remaining fumes and residues might also be toxic to your cells. Instead, look for a quaternary ammonium disinfectant found under different brands in different regions. These types will not leave any hazardous residues, but if you have any concerns, 70% ethanol is good for removing remaining soap or other chemicals. If you have an incubator featuring an automated high heat sterilization cycle, you can skip the hazardous chemicals altogether and eliminate the need to separately autoclave parts, 